Before I got sick, my husband and I were planning our wedding. We were very active socially and we were a young couple kind of making it on our own and I, I was fine. I mean, mid-20s, late-20s, all the way until you know, I was about 28 years old was when little things started to kind of go downhill. The first thing I noticed was that I started not being able to eat. And I've never been a person to be concerned about my weight. I cooked for my husband and I'm like, okay, this is weird. And slowly it started to progress. Each month it got worse. I weighed myself at my mom's house for the first time and I looked at the scale and I'm like, this can't be right. It's at 112 pounds. Never in my adult life have I ever been this weight. And my husband kept saying, something is not right. We have to get you to the doctor. I had never heard of the disorder before. I was in very bad condition. I was very close to death. So being at Cleveland for me is a dream. It's always hard when you've been through as much as I have with a disease like this because it's like a puzzle. But Dr. Crow and all of his support staff reassures me we will put this puzzle together. That helps me stay strong knowing that finally somebody gets it. This humbles you and being okay with that and accepting it. My mother is retired, her dream was to travel. I'm sure this is not how she pictured taking care of her 32 year old daughter, but she never leaves my side. When we left home, people said, how long are you gonna be gone? And we just said, we don't know. Three days, three weeks, three months. I don't care how long it is, I'm not leaving. Anyone who is a mother, they understand. There's nothing worse than having your child ill. Who I am is constantly changing. Taking it day by day, when you live the kind of life I live, it's a very fine balance. I know I'll never be the same person I was, but I'm okay with that. Nothing I have I take for granted because it was all taken from me, one by one. The simple fact of taking a walk, simple things like that that other people don't even think about. Everybody has a story. Do not ever judge. Yeah. Everybody's got one.